make a rotation helper for demon hunters using Recora. This will be the part two in this series. If you don't know what Recora is, uh, make sure to watch part one. So the best way I can show you what we're gonna make is to actually demonstrate the Recora. Everything you see on the page is Recora that I made, and so watch as we um, watch as I do the demon hunter rotation and look at all the icons that pop up while I'm doing it. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this is showing me I have Metamorphosis active. This is showing me that I'm on Fellfire. This is my actual bar. And see, it's telling me that I can use Fellblade now. So it's showing my cooldowns as I use them when they're ready. So I don't need to look at the bar. Oh, there you go. So press 3. Press 3. Press 4. 6. And you can see how easy it becomes. Oh, press 3 again. And it's as simple and as cool as that. So it's showing everything that I need off of cooldown. And I can see my bar. Oh, there you go. I can use Concentrated Flame. You can see how easy it becomes. Alright, so now that you've seen what you can do, um, I hope you're excited. So let's begin. Okay, so let's start off by making a group. And this is only for organizational purposes. So we're going to make all this uh, rotation helper in a single group. So we're going to call this group um, Havoc Rotation Helper. Okay, and what this is good for is you can set general settings for everything else when you're actually using it. So there's that. Okay, and now um, we're going to start adding the actual uh, fury bar that we saw. So we're going to go to from template here, and we're going to actually choose progress bar and you want a horizontal bar. You can actually go vertical bar if you want, but it just made more sense to me to use a horizontal bar because that's what I'm used to. And you're going to go into resources and you're going to choose Fury. And you can call this uh, whatever you want. So I'm going to call it Fury Bar. And um, I'm going to actually drag it into the Havoc Rotation Helper because that's where I want it to be. And so we're going to go change some settings for, for this. Um, just to make sure everything is in order. You can, you can drag this around and actually see the bar. I actually want to make it a bit bigger. And drag it here. And once you do that, you actually have your um, Fury Bar. and. This setting over here actually tells it to only load this graphic when, you, when you're playing a demon hunter and it's havoc. So let's close this and we, we can test it out to make sure it's working. Um, so let me use some abilities and see if... So as you can see right now, um, as I use abilities, the bar fills up. Okay, so it's definitely working. Alright, so there's that. So you can actually uh, play around with the colors and everything if you want. Um, so if you go to display here, um, this is the actual bar color which you can change. Um, you, can also, you can also change the bar alpha if you want. Um, that, that, that just means how transparent it is. So you can make it transparent or you can make it fully uh, colored. Um, you can also do some other things which you can play around with. You can actually make it spark. Um, and I can show you what that does here. So it makes that you know sparkly color on the edge of the bar. Okay, so it makes sense if you actually make it purple if that's what you're used to. Um, let me actually do that. You know, something like this where it's similar to what, what I'm used to when playing a demon hunter. Okay, so there you go. You have set up the, your fury bar. So now we can move on to actually creating um, your cooldowns.
Okay, so if you watched the previous video that I made, you have a very good idea of what we're about to do here. Uh, so now we want to actually create the uh, cooldown trackers for our abilities. So again, we go to new, we go from to from template, and we choose icon. And I tend to go with medium icon. And you go to abilities, and you actually choose the ability that you want to track. Um, this basically serves as your action bar in a sense. So I'm going to choose I-Beam and um, I want to choose cooldown tracking so it turns blue when I'm not using it. Okay, so we're going to call this I-Beam dash rotation helper. And um, what you want to do when you're actually working on these is there's a view toggle icon. Uh, you want to turn it on so you can place the icons relative to each other. So I'm just going to drag this, and this yellow line is basically means it's aligning it to the bar. So I want to make put it on the corner here, and um, that's really it. That's showing the cooldown of my ID, and you can actually um, test it to make sure. So right now. I don't have enough fury, that's why it's black. So as soon as I have enough fury, it turns on and I can actually use it, it goes on cooldown. Okay? So it's really as simple as that. Um, so you can do that for a few other abilities as well. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'll do it for Blade Dance as well, just for. Um, just so you guys can see. Again, new from template icon. Medium icon abilities, blade dance again, cooldown tracking. Again, I'm gonna call this blade dance on H. And um, again, I'm gonna turn the, the toggle view for I beam so I can put put blade dance relative to that. I'm gonna just wait for the yellow line. I'm going to grab it, put it relative to I-Beam, and there we have it. So there's I-Beam, and there is Blade Dance. So let me demonstrate it for you again, make sure it works. There you go. So now it's on cooldown, and you can see it. And you can um, change the size of the icons as well. Um, so there you go. That's, that's how you can make um, kind of like an action bar for yourself. Um, and you can put as many of your abilities that you want. I demonstrated two here, but you can put as many as you want. So now we're going to actually move on to um, showing. We're going to actually get to the rotation helper where it show where it will show us abilities once they come off of cooldown. Okay, so now let's get to the rotation helper, which I think all of you are excited about. So again, you go to new. Um, you want to go? We're not going to go to simple anymore. We're going to actually choose icon, and we're going to go to the trigger. And over here, we want to we want to tell the program that whenever my abilities come off of cooldown, show me show me the icon. Okay, and trigger. This, uh, we do that through trigger. Now in the type, uh, we're going to choose an event because when when an ability comes off of cooldown, that's an event in the game. And in the event section, we're going to go to cooldown ready spell. And in here, we write the spell name. So um, the spell name is ID, and we're going to press OK. And uh, this uh, option here is telling you how long the, the icon will show. We want to name. We want to tell it to show it for two seconds. Okay, for I beam, I'm going to choose three. And what I also like to do here is um, to put an animation for it to put it more to make it uh, a bit more apparent for myself. So I go to preset here in main. And I set it to um, flash is a good one. 
um, but you can choose any of the options and play around with it. Um, I'm also going to move this here. Um, I'll, I'll explain in a second. And I also want to make it so that when you know when the when it's when it shows it and it's over, it just shows an animation of it dropping down. So I'm going to choose um, slide to bottom. Um, I'm gonna so I'm gonna say uh, rotation ID. You can put any name you want. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make another one uh, for to make another one for um, blade dance. So we're going to go to trigger events, um, cooldown ready spell. I put the name of the ability, which is blade dance. And press OK. Duration 2. I'm going to set up the animations to be the same as. I did with the other one, so flash and then slide to bottom. And again, as I said, I'm gonna place it relative to I beam. So now I beam has a higher priority in the DH rotation, so I'm gonna let this one be in the front and I'll put a blade dance next to it. So let's let's see this in action. So basically uh, when I, what's gonna happen is when I use these abilities, and they come off of cooldown, it will show on the screen. So let's test it out. So right now they're both off of cooldown, so I'm gonna use Blade Dance, and watch when Blade Dance comes off of cooldown, the icon's gonna show on the screen. See, it's flashing, so I just use it. So this way. You can you you can always focus on the center of the screen, and then um, you see your fury bar here, and then whatever ability that you need to use, and it comes off of cooldown, it'll just flash on your screen, making it much more easier for you. Um, and then you can play around with the settings of it to make it more apparent. So, for example, I think two seconds for blade dance was a bit um, too short. So, I'm gonna go to here, change the settings for that. I wanted to show a bit longer because I was it was not easy for me to see it. So I'm gonna actually change it to 2.5 here. And then um, it's really it's really that easy. Um, you can also well, one of the things I like to do is make a show goal effect. So uh, again, it's more apparent for me to see them. So show goal effect. And yeah, that's it. So you can actually put as many um, of your abilities there as you want. So you know, blade dance, um, concentrate of flame, immolation aura, um, whatever that you want. So in the next section, I'm going to talk about <coughs> creating those status bars that shows you're in metamorphosis and how long you have. Okay, so let's finish up your rotation helper. So now we want to actually keep track of how long we have in metamorphosis without having to look at the top here um, or guessing. So what you can do here again, you go to new, um, you can do from template here again, and you can go to progress bar. And for this one, I want a vertical bar because I want to put it on this side of the screen. Um, it's just how I prefer it. And um, what I want to do is go to buffs because metamorphosis is a buff and um, it's, it's actually here so I choose it and there's, uh, there's a few options and you can go uh, which whatever you want um, I don't actually want it to be grayed out when I'm not using it I just want it to show when I have metamorphosis so I'm going to choose this one and let me place it into the corner here um, let me align it at the bottom okay and yeah that's that's really it I mean you can change the bar color and, and um, some other display settings if you want but for the most part like there's a different bar textures you can use here um, but functionality wise this is all you need to really 
Now let's see it in action. So as soon as I pop a metamorphosis, you can see the bar filling out here. And it's much easier to just see this as part of your UI rather than you know, looking up here. And the cool thing about Recaros, you know, compared to actually installing add-ons and customizing those is that this is you create all of this yourself. You can move it around and put it in any position that you want. Um, one last thing I want to show you is that if you know if you're new to playing your class and you don't know your keybinds too well and these um, rotation helper icons pop up, you can actually make your keybinds show on them. So it basically it tells you what to even press. So you can do that by um, so let's go to my blade dance um, and um, so that's the icon that's showing here in our rotation helper and there's a section called text here and um, we can we can make this I can make this the keybind for my blade dance ability which is three okay and you can see it it's very small in the corner here. Um, so I can tell it to become center, and I can increase the size like that. And yeah, that that actually tells me what my keybind is. So it just it just becomes so easy. I mean, the Demon Hunter is not rotation, not so complicated. But even if you're like new to Demon Hunter, as soon as you know you go to a forum, they what the best for like how to do the rotation. And then you set your keybinds and make your keybinds show on your rotation helper. And then it's just like, you know, um, it's like one of those PlayStation games where it tells you what to press and you just press it. Um, it becomes really easy. Um, you can, I'll do the same for my uh, I beam. Uh, my keybind for I beam is 4. So I do that. I make it center, increase the size. And that's it. So I'll. Let's say you're you know you're playing your demon hunter, and you're new to it. But as soon as um, you know things come off of cooldown, it'll just tell you what to press. And so this right now, I look at this. Oh, press three. Okay, there you go. Okay, and um, yeah, that's it. I think that covers everything. And now you can just you know sit at your own PC and create your own custom UI. Um, and you can do this for any class, really. I just did it for Demon Hunter as an example, but um, whatever the class that you play that um, is based on priority, like Red Paladin, you can actually create the same UI um, and the same rotation helper. I hope this helped you um, and you enjoyed watching it, and I hope you create an amazing UI for yourself and an amazing rotation helper. Uh, I'm going to make more videos about Vicoros and cool stuff that you can do with it so make sure you subscribe thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one